Consistency, choose patience, loyalty, and long suffering. Why? Why are you this suffering in the first place? I wonder. Suffering? No, is that not the fruit of the spirit? Ah, well, that's well, technically, but. Yes or no? Brother, the word of God cannot be taken out of context. It doesn't work that way. You understand? Wait, now you right. Neither did you. And yet you continue to 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 do your mouth like this. Ah, so you are the one that is correct. Can anyone? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go None for me, I don't want any. None for me either. I'm full. I can't have anything else. Me, I want another one. We'll get one. You now say you want. I'll not give you. But if you know now, you know now, you know now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, life is good. You can say that again, my brother. We're living our best lives. No, I think on that note, you speak for yourself. I still have a lot of things to check off my bucket list. But you have a whole bucket list? You bet your coily hair, I do. <laughs> no, I, I still have to play with Ronaldo, uh, okay. meet Obama for some, you know, a little business meeting, and then um, oh, respect that. Convince Beyonce to marry me. And your wife? She'll be glad for the company. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you all the best in the wars to come. I hate being <laughs> Okay. Um, so, how's work, by the way? Um, work is work is good. And things are getting better. And um, yeah, yeah, really. And you? How have you been? I mean, work is good. Mm -hmm. You're grateful. Can't complain. And family. Hey, hey. Are you sure you will change my family? I really am full, I promise. Meanwhile, I hope you got the rest of that. I did, and I also got for the carrot one. Oh. So. <laughs> so you had the perfect guinea pig for your culinary uh, uh, I don't know, experiments. The beautiful one you make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're okay. So, baby, okay. I, was, I was thinking, um, why don't you um go and have your bath? My bath. With this? I, I don't want to. Oh, my yeah. bath. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think uh, we have to be on our way. Yes, we do. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I have the recipe already. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, bro. All right, bro. Take it easy. Mm. Take, take care. All right, you mm -hmm. take care of Thank you, you so much. Okay. okay. All right, okay. thank you. We had a good time. Yes, anytime, anytime. Bye. 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 Okay. <laughs> so, hmm? what? You were. Uh, talking about the bath is there some sort of teaser or i mean before the main thing <laughs> well mm -hmm. you have to wait and okay. see because they just might be okay so how about <laughs> if we start something <laughs> a little bit from here how about i make the shower a little more interesting huh you know Oh, what? <laughs> My goodness, you!
Beauty, don't you think we should go see another doctor? I mean, if that's what you want. And what do you want? For us to have faith. To believe that he will never leave nor forsake us. But faith without work is dead. Faith doesn't work if you have doubts, such as the nature of faith, love. I'm not doubting, I just think... <laughs> Everything will come together at the right time. Okay? But the right time is now. Yes, it is. Which is why I say have faith. And don't bother yourself so much. Besides, I'd much rather talk about these new inventions that you've been trying out. I and mean, what's that business with the, the fan? <laughs> just stop. I'm just saying. I mean, who taught you that? My mother. You're kidding. Mm. Mama? Mm-hmm. Are uh, you dare not say anything about it? Uh, no. Hmm. Mm. From me? Well, heaven knows I can't look at my mother the same way again after that. Stop it! I'm just saying. <laughs> And you know, she also taught me something else. Well, now I'm curious. Hmm. Just that if you behave, I'll show you tonight. Okay, I'll be looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, God. Put my mouth on. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> no, no way! You're something. <laughs> Aren't you going to the gym? Uh-uh. I'll go in the evening. Okay. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, no. Something is off. You can talk to me. The bank. They have refused our loan request. And Max, he's having some problem at this. And Max is having problem in the state, so he can be of help. Chief is not picking my calls. The landlord. Has he started calling you? We spoke a couple of days ago. He understands. It's just that he has issues on his own that he needs to sort out. But we haven't even sent money home in a long time. No, don't worry about that. I already told them that they, they should just hang on, you know? So. I can deal with that later. What about Nina? Nina? The repairs. The bank. Can they all wait? You know what? Let's just take all of this one step at a time. Once the Galahad contract pulls through, all of our problems will be solved. But for now, let's just... That's the plan, man. Ah, everything will be fine. Right. Yes, yes, everything will be fine. We'll pull through this together, right? Don't worry. It will be fine. Everything will be fine. I know, it will be fine. It's just. Would, would you like me to call Chief? No, I could call. No, no, no. no. Don't worry about you. We'll go through this together and everything will be fine. Okay? I just wish there was something I could do. Something I could just... Just... Get... 
pray. I don't know why people like you come to the gym. You make us look bad. <laughs> you see the women in the day sessions. Those women are on steroids. Like, one can barely keep up. Are you serious? Yes. How long have you been coming here? Well, for the better part of six months. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> you? Second day, actually. And no one told me it was going to be leg day. <laughs> I can barely feel my legs. <laughs> yes, I know where it is. Usually like that the first week, but it gets better. And we all know why women go through that pain for the hips and the ass. And abdominal posture too. Exactly. <laughs> oh my so, God. Um, tell me, do you stay around? Yes, I do. Uh, I stay a few streets from here. Oh, really? Yeah. I live three streets away from here. You do? Mm-hmm. That would be Falashade. Falashade Crescent, yes. Wow, I would never have guessed. <laughs> That's nice. So, um, are you ready to leave so we can walk together? I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's been a really good day. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, my name is Faith. Oh, pardon my bad manners, Amina. Nice to meet you, Amina. Likewise. Are you have a sir? <laughs> I wish. I don't know where my parents got that name from. <laughs> but the name, Amina, that's... Well... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, just give me a second, let me get my cup. Okay, good. Thank you. Alright. I trust all is well with you. You're doing okay? All is well. My family and I are going to forever be grateful to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Come off it. I am merely a servant of the Lord. All glory belongs to God. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, and who is this um, embodiment of God's awesomeness? Oh, my friend Faith. Faith, first of all. If only you shall have faith as small as a mustard seed, you shall say to that mountain, move, and indeed, it shall Ooh, move. Yes, <laughs> yes. Nice to meet you. Wow. 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 Ay. Ah. Wow. Yes. Do not be afraid. I have merely received information from the spiritual place. Mm. The realm has exposed certain things to me. I can tell you things that only you should know. Mm. I can tell you that you are the only child of your parents. Mm. I can tell you that your father died while you were in secondary school. Yes, Lord. I can tell you that your family is not happy with the man that you married. 
I can tell you that you are going through something so tumultuous now that only God can resolve. Rigabotion, yes, Lord. Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Hi. What I've been sent to you to tell you all is well. I am the Lord's messenger. If you are open to prayers, I would like you to come over to my office and I will pray with you. Okay? But if you would rather we meet up somewhere, I come to you. I do not mind breaking bread with the children of the Lord. It is well with you. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. Thank you oh. so much, Pastor Paul. Ah. Thank you so much. Stay sir. blessed and my regards to everyone. Yes, sir. Stay Thank blessed. you, sir. It is well. Amen. Rigabosha. <sighs> oh, that's Pastor. Are, are you okay? <laughs> Pastor Paul. Hi, oh, yes. Are you okay? Yes, um. Can we just can we just leave here? I just, I feel really uncomfortable. Just, just I, it's fine. I know yeah. Pastor Paul can be a handful, but trust me, you would not regret speaking with him. But then I just feel somehow I feel like I was stripped naked by a total stranger. That's exactly how I felt the first time he saw me. Well, guess what? He helped me solve all my family problems. If you ask me, I don't know the troubles you're going through right now. But if you ask me, I'll suggest you meet with him. You will not regret it. Come on, girl, let's go home. Come on, it's okay. Hey. Hey, babe. Hi. How are you? Oh. Hey. How was your day? It, it was good. Okay. Are you hungry? Because I made your favorite. Right. Uh, you seem excited. What, 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 is, what is the problem? Okay. You never like surprises. Uh, tell me, what is it? Look, you have to see them first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, are you ready for this? I am ready. Our prayers have been answered. What? What prayers? You're going to have a baby. Oh my god, baby. You're pregnant? Not quite. Our application has been approved. <laughs> what application? Our adoption application, the agency sent an email this morning. We're going to be parents, babe. Well, not, not quite, babe. Listen, babe. We're going to have our own children first. Okay, that is the promise that we're standing on. What if we're supposed to have this child first? And he would have told us. Look. Honey, I know how you feel. Okay, but let's not confuse this with our expectations. But hey, hey. Our expectations will not be cut short. Okay? Now, I need to go freshen up. Someone cannot even be happy again this house. I was not supposed to thank him for the little things first. What? <sighs> Honey, it's 3 a.m. I remember you're going to work this morning now. Come to bed. I know, but I have to. I have to make this numbers tally. And having to start way back in 2010 does not even help matters. I haven't even started working here in 2010. Sorry. Mm. Look, 
Come and rest your back, okay? You can continue with this in the morning. I wish I had that luxury of time. But if I can't wrap this up, then we might miss out on Sargal her contract. <sighs> this is not fair. How can you be the only one? The only one working on this contract? I wish someone can tell them that. See, honey. Why don't you leave this work? And let's see if they will not be forced to work on it themselves. Wait. Really? I tell you. And if they don't? Well, you won't be the only one to lose on the contract. What are you saying? You won't be the only one to lose out on the contract. What happens to us if they lose the contract? Who pays the house? You will pay the house rent. <sighs> or food will magically appear in our kitchen. Have a little faith, okay? Besides, it was just a suggestion for you to me. Uh, if you don't have any important suggestion to make, please can you just go back to bed while I focus on this? Good morning, darling. Aren't you going to gin this one? Uh, why? You have other plans? Yes. The hysteric problem? Nothing. Are you still angry with me about what happened last night? I'm sorry, darling, if I said anything to upset you. It was the work. The situation at work got to me. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Like I said, I'm fine. Baby. I was out of line and I am sorry. Please forgive me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said I was of no help to you at all. No, babe, come. You know I didn't mean any of that. That's not how it sounded, but it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. No, babe. Okay, um, I'm sorry. I wasn't myself. I didn't mean any of that. Whatever I said last night, I didn't mean it. Please forgive me, babe. I promise I will make it up to you. Babe, babe, please. Come on. Hmm? How about, um... When I come back from work, we could just go out on a dinner, just two of us. Okay. Sorry. I'll see you when I get back. Hey. Uh, hey. Why the long face? Please tell me. What happened? We lost the Sagala contract. No. Honey, you literally lived that contract. You did your research. You worked hard on that contract. How, how did it happen? How, please tell me. They said they are giving it to another contractor that came cheaper. 
Can you imagine? I mean, how is that even possible? Our rate was supposed to be the most fairest. I mean, how can they? A lot depended on that contract. A lot. Don't worry, okay? God, God, will, God will work it out for you. Oh, Don't... No, he better. He better. And it, 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 I promise to take you out and I'm just coming back with this news. It's... Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'm not even in the mood to go out, so... Don't worry. I just can't you, believe this. You're not in the mood to go out? Is there a problem? Mm -mm. Let me um, get you water to drink. You will need water to drink. Let me get you water. Daughter of God, you are very welcome again. Before your call, I was in the place where I commune with the supernatural and download all the spiritual information I need. And a word came to me and it said, my son, my child needs your help. And I said, Lord, who is that child? And it said, in a loud and clear voice, like you can hear me now. Yes. It said, have faith. So I tell you, it is not by mere coincidence that the prayer meeting I was supposed to have this morning was moved to the evening. Hmm. And the next call to call me was from someone named Faith, asking to see me this morning. Oh, daughter of God, your life is about to change for the better. I tell your life is about to change for the better. Thank you, Pastor, sir. Thank you. So let us start by hearing, in your own words, what has brought you here. Pastor, sir, it's my husband. The bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh. Your king, what is the matter with him? Everything. To be more specific, it's his business. Everything is wrong. We just seem to be encountering all kinds of obstacles. You know, at first, when we started, things were really picking up, looking really good. And before we knew it, one challenge after the other, after the other, after the other, it's just, it's just, I don't even know where to start from. Pastor Sir, if you can really look into this and, and help us, I would really, really be grateful. I'd appreciate it, sir. From what I understand, you want to help your husband. I love especially you. Especially in these trying financial times. God is never late. Amen. But I want to ask you one question, Sister yes, Pastor. Faith. Are you willing? to do whatever it takes. Are you willing to embark on this spiritual race? Pastor Sir, yes, I am all in. Very good. There shall be a series of divine interventions coming your way. Amen. I am telling you this because I have seen in the place where all secrets are revealed to me. And I saw that your enemies have implanted three keys in you such that each time you lay with your husband, you lock his spiritual progress. God forbid. Don't be afraid. God forbid. Don't be afraid. I say. Don't be afraid. It is not big enough. It is not big enough. There is nothing bigger than my God. Pastor, sir, mm. oh, oh, oh. what do I need to do? You see this? This is oil. And oil is for anointing. Because the Bible says anointing destroys the yoke. Ah. <sighs> you shall drink of this. You shall feel the urge to vomit. 
And when you do so, you shall purge yourself of those keys that the enemies have implanted in you. Drink it. Drink it. Good. Very good. Very good. Yes. So, so after this, what, 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 what next? Pastor, sir. Um, so how about, um, so, um, Jesus. Daughter of God, you can see it for yourself. Just like I told you. Though there are two, but these are the keys that the enemy is implanted. Jesus. This world is wicked. Ah, Jesus. Uh, Pastor. What do I need to do? I am ready. This is war. I am ready. This proves that it is an advanced level of manipulation. Kai. Well, not to worry. All we need to do is to get a few things. Uh, the only thing is that they may not be available in Nigeria. Hi, God. So, where, where can we get them? I, I may be of help. Uh, there are simple things, things like salt. But specifically, salt from Lot's wife on the outskirts of Sodom and Gomorrah. Eh? Salt. Did the Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible? Yes. Ah. Does that still exist? The, oh. This Lot's wife, does this still exist? The salt is still properly preserved till this day with all its healing properties. We will also need a mustard seed because the Bible says, if you shall have faith as small as mustard seed. seed. Then finally, we will need some sand from the bottom of the Red Sea. With that, everything will be taken care of. Okay. Ah, wait, wait, uh, uh, Red Sea. Yes. Um, Pastor Sammy, I don't know how to swim. How do I get them? If, if you can help me, I, I would uh, do you know this. is uh, easily accessible. They're all in Israel. They shouldn't prove problematic to get. Uh, you, you want me to go to Israel? As it is, I'm already having no challenges here to go to Israel. I have to travel and I have to... Israel is really, really far. There's really anything you can do, Pastor Sir. I, I, I really want to... Could. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. You may not need to go. Ah, thank uh, you. I just remember the colleague of mine embarked on a spiritual soldier. Oh, thank you. So if you don't mind, um, I can speak to him and we'll see how we can help you get these things across. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank it you, is sir. God who will thank. It is God. I want to help you. The Lord spoke to me and I must heed the Lord's voice. Okay? Let me um let me try to call him. <laughs> oh my god, that pink one is the diaper. No, that's no. <laughs> yeah? Oh. No. Oh, okay, okay, babe, no problem. I'll have to call you later, okay? Alright, thanks. Bye. Uh, so, um, I was thinking I could talk to you about this, uh, Adoption papers. What about the adoption papers? Yeah, I, I see here that uh, we're to pay Mr. Friday F. Young an additional 750,000 naira, and this is beside the 1.5 million we paid to the company. Um, yes, I was hoping we could use the money from my piggy bank account to cover that cost up. Well, yeah, I see how we can use the money from your piggy bank, but uh, what I don't understand is why we're paying the additional fees for the adoption. It's just to fast track the process. Yes. 
my God, is, is this who we are now? It's just a hasting the whole thing. Ha has it come to this, Rose, that we're, we're, we're bribing people and, and following shortcuts just to get an adoption? It's not like that, babe. It's not. 750,000 Naira, babe. How, how has it come to this? But we have the money. It doesn't mean we're going to use it to break the law. Well, you do realize that you've just tainted the whole process, right? Babe, it's, it's just that it's so difficult. You know, it's so difficult having to wait. You know, having to see my friends with their children. Having people tell me how to conceive. It's just hard. It's hard, mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. But we have to do this thing that way. We can't abandon our faith, our, our beliefs. We can't call God a liar. God, so I thought. I okay. We will get our promise. Everything will be okay. Who? Hmm? Will you forgive me? There, there is nothing to forgive. And that's the reason why there's, there's two of us. Oh, and uh, by the way, I, I don't think that we should go through with the whole adoption thing anymore. I think we should just take the money in that account and sow it as a seed. Why are you doing this now? Hey, you know I don't like seeing you like this. Listen, I think you're taking this baby situation too far. And you could end up depressing. Why has God forsaken me? Don't say that. Don't say that when God has not forsaken you. I mean, you've been married for just two and you're acting as if you've been childless for ten. You know my age. I'm not getting any younger. A few years from now, I would have crossed over. And I would not be able to have kids anymore. Cross over to, to where? To what? Don't mock me, T. Okay. I'll be 40. Menopause. And I'm very sure that God will give us a child before then. And even if that doesn't happen, I, mean, I know women who have given birth at 45. God is God, honey. There is nothing He cannot do. Hey, please, let's, let's, let's go on with the adoption process, please. See, I have this, this strong belief inside of me that if I take care of an abandoned child, my blessings will come from there. Please, T. My heart really wants this. Please. Thank you. So honey, how was your day? 
It was eventful. Hmm. That's good. Mm. That's good. <sighs> Honey, yeah. I met a man of God today. He told me things that we should do that would help us. It was just... There was just something about him. Hmm. That's good. I think you should shave your hair and paint your head white. Honey, you're not listening to me. Hmm? Um, <clears throat> have a big day tomorrow, okay? I need to be on point, please. Yeah. In the freaking fizzle. <sighs> what is this? It's holy oil. I don't understand. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I met a man of God today. Who exactly did you say you meet? <sighs> My husband. Let me. Honey, just have faith. I have you. Is there any other faith I need to have? <laughs> I'm serious. This is serious. You could have fooled me, you know. Honey, I've seen things that this man has done. Look, I don't think it would hurt us to try him. I hope I don't have to pray naked. Have faith. Amen. It's okay. What's going on? Babe. What? Babe. Put me down. What happened? Babe. Tell me. Babe, we got it. Are you serious? We got the contract. Babe, do you know what? We promise that we're going to pay more than the proposed budget. Do you, do you know that? I, mean, I can't even explain how all this happened. It was just like magic. Everything just clicked. That's not all. We spoke tentatively about two new budgets. <laughs> and we are here. We are here. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, that's oh, what you want now.
Daughter of Zion. Pastor Sam. Congrats. Thank you. you have been very fervent in your devotion to the word. But this is not a time for you to relent. Rather, you need to keep pressing forward. Okay, sir. Because it is by doing so that we can truly call on total comfort. Okay, sir. I will, sir. I, I need you to be more radical. Okay. Because only the valet takes you by force. You are there. Yes, sir. I need you to be more spiritually sensitive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll yes. give you a couple of do's and don'ts okay, sir. that you must adhere to. Okay, sir. That's not the problem, sir. I'm ready. Great. I'm ready. Also, we need to get ready to acquire more items to take us to the next level of your spiritual growth. See, Sister Faith, why, why this? I would expect you to be much more elated about progressing on accomplishing all these spiritual principles set before you. I, I, I just, I, the, I, I really want to feel the excitement, but, but I just can't see. It's getting really, really difficult for me to get money from my husband. As a matter of fact, he's very uncomfortable with the money that I usually receive. Seed, pay. seed. Sir? Your level of seed sowing. Yeah. What you are doing is sowing a seed. Yes, sir. And you know when you sow seeds, you reap in hundreds of folds. Absolutely, sir. Please, please see, I, I don't know how to get him committed to seed sowing, you understand? I, I think he should come and see you. The way I came, I saw you and I was filled with the I spirit. I do not think that would be necessary. Yeah, I'm just thinking that, you know, you, you can show him all the things that you've shown me and that has made uh, my eyes look, to be... Sister Faith, there are certain battles that must be fought from within, okay? You need to have an unwavering level of dedication and total devotion, all right? Let your words be backed up with actions. Pastor, he won't listen to me. Then show him. Show him. Ah, finally dinner is ready. Food is ready. I am so hungry I could eat a flipping horse. No cursing. Yes, ma'am. My bad. So what's for dinner? Your... <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Okay. But babe, mm -hmm. I'm still not giving you that money. Because I don't have any money to give you. I don't believe this. You mean I cannot just cook food for you with all the love in my heart and all the so tender I'm love? Not you. <laughs> you just you just <sighs> babe. Mm -hmm. Why do I have only one plate here? Are you not joining me? No, 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 no. I'm on a food fast. Fruit fast? Mm. So you've been eating fruit all morning? Mm-hmm. And it's going to go on for a month. A month? Mm -hmm. What kind of punishment is that? <laughs> Honey, it's not punishment. Okay. It's actually really, really good for you physically and mm. most importantly, spiritually. Well, I think you should go and get a plate. Because I don't want people to start talking now when you start getting lean. Look, how lean can I get it? Just for a month. Hmm? Babe, mm -hmm. are you sure you don't want to join me? Stop it! I already told you I'm fasting. Eat your food and leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. What's wrong? Babe. Hmm? What's the most problem? Is it a bone? Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Talk to me. What happened? Did you taste this food? I told you. I can't. I'm only fast. So how are you supposed to know if the food is sweet or not? I... Just tell me. What's, what's wrong with the food? It's too bloody salty. Ah. Did a bowl of salt fall inside? 
I mean, did you test it? I'm sorry. Please. So what am I going to eat now? Um... that you're protesting. But you need to come to bed. I mean, it's already late and you're going to work early tomorrow. Hmm? Are you ready to make up for making me eat apples for dinner? Honey, you know I can't. You know I can't because I'm fasting. I'm not coming to bed yet. Mm. I can't just come and lay in bed with you and we'll be looking at each other. No. Go until you sleep off. I am not coming to bed. <laughs> I don't have that time. We we'll never change. Mm, change in a Tifa the Tifa. <laughs> come to bed, Joe. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Hey, are you, are you okay? Your sister called to invite us to a baby shower. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that sounds like cause for celebration and not a funeral. So I, I don't understand why you're moody. Oh, you can't see it. I mean, she called me and not you. You are her brother. Why is she calling me to invite us to a baby shower? Can't you see that she did that? She did that to spite me. I mean, she just got married like 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 yesterday, and she's already heavily pregnant. Look at me. I've been married for over two years, and I'm yet to conceive. <sighs> We're Christians, remember? And we admonished as Christians to celebrate with people, celebrate when they're celebrating more and when they're mourning. It's, it's who we are. Honey, this is not a good look, okay? You should be happy for her, happy that this is a time of celebration, a time of joy, so that when your time comes, People will be happy for you too. It's simple. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Besides, think about it. If she didn't invite you for her, if she didn't call you, uh, I'm sure you, you know, you have felt a certain kind of way about it. I'm sure she wasn't thinking about it like that. She wasn't trying to rub it in. I'm sure she was just trying to, you know, feel closer to you. You know, woman to woman, that kind of thing. It's okay. We'll be fine. All right? This is not a competition. I'm sure you're the only person thinking about all of this like this. Hmm? <laughs> mm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, the house was really quiet and I was looking for you. So I just uh, I have to get back to work. Hmm? Yes, Sister Faith. Pastor. Have you been able to come up with the next level seed? Pastor. Pastor, not yet. It's my husband. I haven't been able to get him to reason with me. He's still very adamant about this whole thing. He even complains about my fasting. Ah. Yes. That means you are fasting alone? Yes. No. That is why he is still adamant. 
Look, you need to convince him to join you in fasting so that the Lord can open his mind and reveal spiritual things via his inner eyes. Then and only then can he tap from the supernatural realm. Let me pray with you. Father, as she goes forth to meet her husband, may she be able to penetrate him so that he shall have the gift that will allow him to penetrate the heavenly places. Jesus! Oh, God, baby! God, Jesus, forgive me! No, now, no, now! You cannot be doing this kind of. I told you, I'm fasting. Remember, you can't be doing this kind of thing now. Oh, God, Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Just change your life, see is your own I know now, I, I, I know today is Wednesday, but I'm fasting and I told you. See, don't worry, okay? We'll soon be done. I'll soon be done with this fast. I promise you, I, I, will, I will do anything you want me to do. You trust me now, but for now... Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Um, you, you mean I'll have to wait for one month for you to make it up to me? Well, what exactly are you saying? Baby, see, mm. I need to discipline my physical body so that my spiritual body can comfort and shine. Mm. Yes. Okay, babe. Mm? Calm down. Do you realize I'm your husband? Yes, and that having to make love with me does not break any spiritual laws. Mm. Yes. Yes, I, 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 I guess it's just... Mm. Baby, look, I cannot afford to be distracted. Look, see... This thing I'm doing, I'm doing it for us. When I go to bed, then wait, wait, wait. Even if I am ready to understand, what is going to happen to this guy? <laughs> he can't understand. I'm so sorry for this unholy conversation. Just see, maybe um. No, what, what, what are we going to do about him? Will you have a cold bath? Huh? We have to play the long game. And before you say anything, I know the risk. Yes. I know you do not agree, but please, I... What I'm saying is... Yes. Exactly. So, um... I'll call you later. Hey, baby. Hi. Aren't you running late? It's almost eight. I have been waiting for my food all morning. Oh, about that. Wait. The... Are you saying the food isn't ready yet? Well, actually, I, I didn't cook. You know, I, I was thinking that maybe you would join me in fasting and praying too because, you know, you've been putting in so many hours at the office and the stress. And if you just add fasting to it, everything will fall into place. So I was really here or here. I was really hoping that, you know, you would just. Baby? Babe. Babe. So you agree that I have been putting hard hours at work? Yes. And, that's what and you also believe that I am stressed out? Exactly what I was suggesting. And your reaction and suggestion to all of this is to starve me and also to deny me sex. Really? Baby, that's not how it is and you know it. Do I? Because from where I'm standing, it is exactly like that. When did all this nonsense start? Stop shouting. Then answer my question. I was only suggesting that you join me in fasting and praying today because, look, the man of God said that. Let me know, stop I you there. First, you were not suggesting because if you were, I would have had a say. And secondly, I think I have been indulging you so much in this house. And all that practices, that religious practices needs to stop. I don't want to hear any mention of any man of God, especially that man, in my house. Our house. It's our house. This is my house too. You married me, remember? Or don't I get to have any say in all of this? You will have a say when you start behaving like the woman I married. 
Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that you're not even going to consider my side of things? I... I am going to go to work. Hungry. And honey, if I might add. And I hope that when I return, I will meet my wife. Wow. Hey, hon. A surprise for you, by the way. Hey, 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 hey. Are you okay? Where were you, T? You said you were going to meet me up, so why didn't you show? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't make it. I got very busy. So what could be more important than your own sister's baby shower? You, you didn't even show up, not even for five minutes. I just told you that I'm very sorry. Okay, I, I had, I had a backlog of, of things that I was scheduled to, you know, you know, I was late for, I was behind schedule on. I'm sorry for not showing. Do you know how it feels being in the presence of your family without you? I mean, all, all the side talks, the subtle insults. I mean, which sister-in-law humiliates our own sister-in-law like this? Wait, did Jemima say something? You should have been dirty. With me. For me, we're supposed to be in this together, but you, you left me all alone knowing what would happen. I didn't know, babe. I didn't you didn't know what? That Jemima would be there, or that your cousin would love a chance to throw dirt on my face. Honey, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I really am sorry. I wish I was there, but I couldn't make it. Like I told you, work. But you're home now. Also, remember, I told you I had a surprise for you. Oh, please, I'm not in the mood, please, but I want to sleep. Hey, 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 trust me. Trust me. You're going to like this surprise. No, oh, please, I'm not in the mood for any surprise. I just hey, want to go. Hey, trust me, you're going to love this. Okay? You're going to love this surprise. Guess what? Just out with it. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? You have something to say, sake. Sorry, 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 sorry. <sighs> say it! T, you know I'm. I'm fine. I heard from the adoption agency. What are you, what are you saying? Uh, we have just been confirmed. Uh, we have a baby. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is better than a surprise. <laughs> oh baby, you did this for me. <laughs> I don't deserve you, really. Uh, it's okay, I don't deserve you either. Mm. So, okay, fine. Did they, did they give you a date? Did they say when we're coming for the calm baby? Did they tell you down. the sex they give you? Uh, uh, come and sit down first. Abba. Uh, sit, 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 sit. Can you tell me something else? Can you tell me to sit? Let me, let me, let me go get you a cold drink. So I can. See, what's going like this? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <sighs> Relax, uh, deep breath. You had a bad day, right? No, 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 this is... <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah. What is going on here? We're fasting. What the fuck? I thought I made myself clear this morning when I was leaving. No, you didn't. All you did was to accuse me and complain of me, starving you of everything in this house without listening to my side of this issue. 
Ikechiko. Let me ask you a question. Haven't we been having great, adventurous, fun, love-making everywhere in this house? And just because I ask you to join me, your wife, in some days of fasting in order to better our lives, you accuse me of not being a good wife? You think I like the way things are with us? You think I like the, the fact that our friends are living in duplexes while we are living in a flat? You think I don't want to come home to a fancy home with art on the wall, a swimming pool? Really? Look, Ikechu, listen. If what we must do is to fast and starve ourselves of sex in order to better our lives, then so be it. Does this make any sense? Why am I imposing this fast on my husband when I know he still eats out before coming in? I might not be stupid here. I beg go. Let me go and cook for this man before this thing turns to another thing. Get me some of your apples later. I'm serious, Joe. I made dinner for you. See, I'm hungry. I've not eaten since morning. I didn't know what to expect, so I got something from outside. Hmm? Look, Barnes, you could have called me now. You'd have called to say, you know, honey, I'm getting stuff, so I don't have to go through all that process of making. It's not a problem now. You can put it in the freezer. Okay, at least now I'm sure there's something for me to eat tomorrow morning. It's easy for you to say. Uh, won't you ask me to join you? Mm -mm. I thought you said you made dinner. So you're not going to give me some? Do I know if your religious things have stopped you from eating rice and chicken? Mm? Ha! Mm. Really? Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't, don't know that it's no verse. Come on, eat. Ha! That's if I'm hungry. It's just, know. It's just normal for, you mm. know. To share. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. It's true now. Why do you want to finish my chicken now? Start with the rice no. first. No. See, let me tell you. That one, this one is your own. This one here is my own. You heard me, Abby? Mm. Stop complaining. I eat jaw. Mm. 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 Sweetie. Mm -hmm. So... I want to ask you for some money. I need the money to restock our store. How much? Like 200k. Uh-uh. Mm. Can I just give you a similar sum of money last month? Eh, uh, that one too. I, I wasn't able to get everything that we needed. And I had to get some personal things too. Yeah, please, no. You don't even spend 100k for three months for three months. How come you're spending twice that amount two months in a row? Okay, fine, fine. I want to send money to my family. But we already sent money to them. I know, it's just like it's very urgent, okay? And and I need to do it myself. Some things came up and it's it's very, very urgent. I don't believe you. No, I'm serious though. Really? True. Okay, give me the person you want to send the money to. Let me call and confirm. Ah. Honey, you know how these things are. I really want to, but these things are very dicey. They're very, if you're not careful, you could oh, just... Yeah, just um, you need to do it for yourself. Yeah, I'm very sure it is that man of money. It's not a donation. Have I not forbidden you to talk about anything that has to do with that man of God in this house? 
Hey, well, it's not me. You're the one who brought him up. Yeah, that's because you wanted to go and donate my money to him for doing absolutely nothing. How gullible do you think I am? Uh, gullible? Yes. Oh, you think I'm gullible? Is that what you think? <laughs> Isn't that apparent? Ah, Kichiko. How do you think you got the money in the first place? Huh? No, really think about it. Weren't we struggling before I met him and then BAM! Things changed? BAM! Yes! Honey, I have been working on that contract for two years. Except you want to tell me you met him three years ago, which I doubt that. Okay, fine. What about the Benny account? Hmm? Or oh, Mr. Adi? Who started paying you all the money he owed you? And all of that started happening after I started using the salt from Sodom and Gomorrah to cook for you. Hmm? Do you know how stupid this sounds? So I'm not only gullible, now I'm stupid. Faith, the useless wife who doesn't know anything except her husband tells her to do it. No, I won't put it exactly like that. Kichiko. Something is wrong with you. Excuse Something me. Something is really, really wrong with you. <laughs> I, wait, are you talking to me? Yes. After all I've done for you, after all I've put into this to, to, to see you through, to, to improve our, our, our life. What the freaking fizzle have you done for me? What is the contribution you have made that gives you the right to think you can insult me? Oh my God. Oh God. You are ungrateful! Go to hell! So ungrateful! <laughs> okay. Okay. What is it? Why are you like this? What happened? It's just... Talk to me. Say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, I barged on you like this. I didn't mean to. You know I'm not that kind of person. I just... I just... I just needed it's, to... It's fine. It's fine. But just talk to me. What exactly is going on? We had a fight. Mm -hmm. You and I, K. But that's fine. Couples fight all the time. I'm sure everything will be okay. Oh dear. Not this time. He doesn't want me anymore. That's not true. That man I don't see. You weren't there. You didn't hear the things he said to me. Just. I haven't seen you like this. What's happening? I just wanted to... <laughs> so, um... It was... That was it. That was... That was what happened. Wow. I mean, I understand your anger. And your frustration, but I also feel as though you maybe overreacted or you didn't handle the situation with your wife very well. Well, I said some things, but, but that was in the heat of the moment. I didn't mean to insinuate. Bro, you keep forgetting that men and women are wired differently. I mean, you will forget everything by next week, but her? Yeah, <laughs> I get your point. Mm. And I saw all your messages and calls. I thank you and I appreciate you for all you've done. But it was kind of wrong for me to come here to pick up my wife. Why is that? I mean, I thought we just established the fact that perhaps both of you overreacted. My wife left our house. She can't do that. I mean, what's the guarantee that, okay, I come here, I pick her up. What is the guarantee that she will not leave the house at any slightest provocation again? The guarantee is her certainty. Look, this is not about right or wrong, bro. This is about reconciliation. I know my wife. Okay, I know my wife. 
listen i don't mind rolling on the floor once she returns back but this she has to do on her own and if she doesn't i, I might just consider kidnapping <laughs> i bet i pray doesn't get to that i'm saying the bomb hat guy as a matter of fact i think i will just call her mom once again <laughs> all right what Ooh, i love it bad guy strong chest wait jerry what did you do you <laughs> Hi. Hi. So I'm okay, thinking that. I just need you to know that. May I go first? Sure. So, I just want to say that I realized that my first mistake. Was to keep things from you. I never should have. It felt so good knowing that I was contributing to your work, forgetting that the most important thing was us. I should have known that when you tried to correct me, it was in my best interest. I'm so sorry I let anything come between us. All I want to say is that. <laughs> I love you, honey. I always have. I always will. I'm, I'm so sorry for making you feel less important, where I As a matter of fact, you are the most important part of my life. You? You're not just my other half. You are my better half. Really? Cross my heart. I'm so sorry. I know I have messed up and I will spend the rest of my life making amends. I love you. I love you more. What? Really? That? Yeah? Aren't you going to join me? No, not yet. How about I make the shower a little more interesting? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, what have you done? Hey. What have you done? Are you How could you withdraw 1.8 million from our savings account without my consent? What did oh. you use the money for? What did you use the money for? I, baby, I, I wanted to use the, 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 the money to mm. secure yes. sacraments from Sodom and Gomorrah for our deliverance. It was very, very What nonsense are you talking about? What deliverance? Deliverance from what exactly? From, from what? Bondage. I was saving that money for our new home. Our new home. The home that you so wanted. Don't we are worry. doing fine. We are doing fine. We have been able to pay our bank debt and... Yes. Wait, what have I done to you? Yes. We have paid our bank debt. We have been able to pay our house rent. Mm -hmm. And the only savings that we had you took and you gave it to your man of God. Sacrament. Please. Yes. You have been duped. And... Faith! Oh, God. <laughs> baby, baby, please, please. I mean, don't, don't, don't walk out on me, please! Oh God, what am I going to do? Oh God! Can we imagine? Because I called my account officer this morning and he told me that one of our accounts is totally empty. She withdrew 1.8 million. Yes, how do you make such a huge withdrawal without telling your spouse? How? And I'm suspecting that he has given that money to that man of God. And then I noticed that he has, she has not been using any of her jewels. I suspect that she must have sold all of them and given the money to that man of God. That bad? It is worst. Because, okay, the way I look at it, there's no way anyone is going to tell me that this is not a scam. And I suspect that we are not the only one passing through this same terrible experience. You know, every time I hear about things like this, it just makes my blood boil. Like the kind of stories, the kind of stories that come out of these kind of situations are so annoying. It's, it's, it's terrible. And do you know what was? I called our family lawyer and I tabled the whole matter to him and he said, Well, under the law, he has not done anything wrong yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you best believe he has. We just have to find it. Well, we need to do something about it because I am open to any suggestion that will help bring that joker to book. He has, he has abused my wife and extorted money from her and he almost ruined my home. I hear you, bro. So here's what we're going to do.